All right, this is Daishi coming back with another part of Seven Days of Skeptic. I'm not sure how many parts we're at right now, if it's two or three, but I'm hoping to have it finished today, so we're going to go ahead and um, get back to it. When we last left our protagonist, he was on board of a ship where everyone was dying, essentially, and he had few options except to do an investigation. Seems as if he might have been the killer. Not too different from Five Days of Stranger. Seven Days of Skeptic is following some of the um, elements of the first ones. Uh, suffers from a bit of sequelitis, but overall not too bad. And I've actually enjoyed it, so let's give it a, another whirl. No, oh, what what did I just do? Oh, and I've got these beams in front of me. Can I break the sink? Can I make my bed? I'm not that tired. I can't see it from here. Well, in Five Days of Stranger, you're supposed to talk your way out of the prison, so let's give this a shot. Commander. Yes, Doctor. Angela, while I'm here, the real killer is still loose. Oh yes, I forgot you're doing some little investigations of your own. Wha who do you have pinned down for the real killer? I think there's someone else on board. How could another person have possibly gotten on board? The internal scanners would have spotted them. What if they weren't a physical being? Doctor, I have no idea what you think you're talking about. Even if non-physical beings existed, they cannot murder corporeal entities. Oh, God's commander behind you! Counselor, please. Even if I... Oh, God's... Oh! Angela! Oh, get the gun. You, Barry. Come on. <sighs> That's stupid. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, go through all of this. Oh, I chose the wrong thing. I did, I know I did. But then his corpse disappeared. What if he's still alive? If he is, Doctor, he will have a little trouble moving around. What with the spike sticking through his chest? That's true. And all his blood supply lying around the radio mass. Alright, well that's not what I meant. I wanted you to... Okay, shut up. Alright, what, uh, what um, about the locker? You're becoming obsessed with that article. I've told you before, it was nothing but useless space debris. The murders of two crewmen are slightly more of an issue at the moment. But what if there's a connection somehow? How could there possibly be a connection? It is an empty steel box left to float in space for thousands of years. Are you suggesting the murderer was hiding inside? Alright, now let's get to it. I think there's someone else on, on board. And let's see... I've got to act quick. I've immediately got to get to the gun. Alright, here we go. Stun gun. Um, what? Oh, this is stupid. This is just a stun gun. I don't know how long that will hold him. We'll pull the lever. Bam! I see you there, Barry. Shaking that ass. Mm. Shaking that ass. As far as I can tell. 
Captain Chow. Right, blah, blah, blah. Angela's dead because you were a complete douche nozzle this entire time. I mean, seriously. I'm not glad she's dead, but... Um. Oh, God! Oh, that's so freaky. How did he get out? How did Barry get out? I wonder if I just stick around. If he'll come come alive. Um Just go in and out, see what happens. Oh he's gone. That is stupid and terrifying. Oh wow, I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually scared. Um, um, everyone's dead on ops. Let's try residents. You think you can hear footsteps? That's no good. I'm going to be saving every five seconds. Oh, God. Now I want some food. No, you can go to hell. <laughs> oh, wow, Adam. Are you alright? Oh, I'm, I'm hoping he's not dead. He's coming for me. He'll kill us both. Um, I've got, I've got a gun. We'll be okay. That's Lieutenant, Lieutenant Adam Gilkenny, my bunkmate and the sheep, ship's engineer. Alright, well this is a new element. This didn't happen in um, Five Days of Strangers, so it actually adds a element of tension. I'm sort of um, just waiting for him to... Oh God. Oh God. Get away, get away, get away into the elevator. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm communal deck. <laughs> this is actually quite fun now. Terrifying, but fun. Oh. Uh. I hope he didn't kill the doctor. Oh, I don't see anything. Oh, God, he's coming in behind me. I'm just wondering how he, um, got out of his prison. From where? From where? From where? Oh, God! I can't click on it. There we go. Alright, let's see. Maybe the, um, captain's key card. No? Okay. It's a control panel for the escape pod.
jettisoning an escape pod without due cause as a court martial offense. Oh, God. All right, let's go back outside. I wonder if I'm supposed to drag him into the airlock and shoot him there and then eject him out. No, I don't. I'm escaping. Oh, gods. There, oh, there can't be that many shots left in this thing. Oh, no! Well, I, I'd better take care of my gun, then. See if he'll follow me inside. Oh, apparently not. Ha, <laughs> it won't let me just. I think I can hear footsteps. Oh! G that is freaking me out. Okay, let's um... Let's go back a bit. Oh, I did not realize... I don't... So you can't imprison him, so... That's useless. Alright, let's get in the elevator. So the reason I'm going from an earlier save is because I need to figure out what I need to do at this point. <sighs> I wonder. Wait a minute. Oh, please don't just show. Oh, God! <sighs> I hate this so effing much. I forgot to pick this up last time. Alright, that will be number three. Excuse me, those of you following along at home. I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing. Alright. Oh, God. Okay, wait. Where's it coming from? You, Barry. Huh. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? I mean, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I've got one of my crewmates shivering in fear. 
I've got another one that should be on board, the doctor, but I don't know where he is. Have I explored everything? Wonder if the captain's key card will work. No, get away. William, it's me. John, John, run. What? Run for your life, you bloody fool. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, uh, all right. Well, let's see. Oh, no, no. Where's it coming from? Oh, there's Barry. No. <sighs> I hate this game right now. All right, so let's do two things. We're going to go up to the residence hall. And then we're going to talk to Gil Kenny. Yo, Adam. Let's talk to him. Okay, that's one thing down. Jeez. I'm honestly at a loss of what to do right now. <coughs> I wonder if I could knock him around. Give this a shot. See if anything comes of it. Oh, he'll show up. I believe he will, anyway. I don't want to hear footsteps. Oh, gods. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to hide? Oh! Oh, wow! That's interesting. Oh, my goodness. Bam! There we go. Interesting. Not too bad. A bit obtuse. Well, I mean, once you figure out that you can't do anything to him while he's, um, walking about. I mean, the stun gun only works so often. I killed him. You killed the captain. Are you sure? Unless he can survive a fall down the reactor pit. Oh, thank heavens. John, you... You're guardian angel, that's what you are. Are you coming out of there? Uh, no, I've just got something to sort out in here. I'll meet you on the bridge in about ten minutes. We can talk about what to do next. Fair enough, let's head on up. Uh, bridge should be, what, right here, right? Uh, where am 
I supposed to do? Oh, you know what? I could go tell the other guy that we have successfully killed a demonically possessed captain. He's dead, Adam. You saw him kill? Did it with my own two hands. Why was he after us, John? I've no idea. Come on, get out of there. I'll gather everyone else up, and we'll meet up on the bridge. Uh, okay, John. Unfortunately, everyone else is dead. And mind you, at this point, the um, entire command structure has fallen apart. All we've got is a psychologist, a doctor, and an engineer. Sort of uh, sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. It's Commander Garrett joining us. Angela, she was guiding me when it arrived. It killed her. Don't you think we can refer to it as him? I don't know. The point is, he's dead now, right? We're all okay now, aren't we? I don't know about that either. For some reason, Barry was on the loose just now. It didn't seem like him. It looked a lot like him. Now I see what John's saying. It looked like Barry, but it wasn't him. Like something was controlling him. And let's not forget Barry's dead. Screw you guys, let's not forget Barry was stabbed through the chest. All John saw was a spacesuit, and that disappeared. I mean, the sensors never picked up more than four life forms on board, three after we lost Angela. Whatever that thing was, it had no life signs. This is getting very disturbing. Yeah, but we're safe now, aren't we? Somehow I doubt it. Whatever made Barry rise from the grave may still be present. Rise from the grave! For caution's sake, I think we should get off the ship now. William, isn't there some rule about ship's doctors being given the key to one of the escape pods? Some regulation to do with medical emergencies. Yes, I have ex access to escape pod C, but surely you don't think it's necessary. It's just three more days until help arrives. William, in the last three days, half the crew has been wiped out. Okay, okay, we'll take the pod. First we have to fuel it, warm up the engines, and run the systems check. That'll take a few hours. Then we should all try to get some sleep. Yeah, good luck with that. We'll get the hell out of here first thing tomorrow. When somebody has eject ejected the pod, I'm sure. Stop pacing. It's almost nine o'clock. Where the hell is he? Could have just over seven. Yeah, I'm sure that's a reasonable assumption right now. I go down to his quarters to check on him. Uh, okay. Oh gods, I've got. I need to save. <laughs> Death looms. What the hell? Oh, gods. Looks like blood coming up from under William's door. Nobody home. So, he's obviously dead. Wonder if there's something stuck in the dispenser. Anything in the shaft? That's what she said. No. Okay, what should I do? Look 
around, obviously. Um, can I open the door? God, it doesn't work in this slot. Nobody home. Oh no, this is ours, right? I don't need to right now. Well then, what should I do? Lieutenant Commander Angela Garrett, Ensign Serena Langley. Maybe I should, um... Well, the dead. Um, I wonder if I can get her card off of her. I'm just going to pretend that you didn't suggest. No, I'm not saying to molest her. I'm saying to spec the body. Uh, I need a break. <laughs> it denotes that this is the observation deck. That's a nice view, I mean. Okay. I admit it. That's pretty. supposed to be doing. Captain, access override functions. Hmm. Please enter your six digit override code to access interest ship functions. I type menu to return to the start screen. Type exit. I wonder. Well, alright, so there has to be something to do with the override code. How do we find out what the override code is? Uh, so on, we're on the hunt for a six digit code. Let's go ask Adam if he has any idea. Adam? John? Don't panic, Adam. We'll get through this. I wish I had your optimism, John. Is the escape pod ready? I've, it's been ready for hours, but that's not the problem. The security card is still in William's quarters. Behind a locked door. I knew this wasn't going to end so easily. I don't think William will be joining us. It got him, didn't it? I don't know yet. There's blood coming out from under his door. Gods. And then there were two. William could still be alive. And then everyone laughed. <laughs> we are laughing. Three people are dead. There's blood coming out from under his door. I think there's only one reasonable conclusion at all. He could be wounded. Can't just leave him here if he is. So I suppose we just sit twiddling our thumbs until we're both killed as well. Forget it, he's lost. Oh no, shut up. Let's see. Any way to get William's door open? I think there is. The console in Barry's quarters can override all security systems. Some kind of defense defensive measure. Okay, so we need to go there and sort that out. 
it won't be that easy. As I recall, a passcode is required. Do you know, ba this is the question of the ages. Of course not. Maybe there's something in his quarters that can help us figure it out. I don't know. All right, so we return to his quarters. Can't you hack it or something? Yeah. Science is magic, children. Don't forget. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't think that was covered in basic training. All right. Let's go look at those quarters again. Search it from top to bottom. All right, let's inspect the desk. The drawers are locked. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm still carrying around a bloody lunch. That's funny. Turn down the bed. It's not done to sleep in a dead man, dead man's bed. Toilet door. Don't need to. Oh, there's a bin. Let's go check it out. It's empty, of course. It's just a waste paper basket. Well, yeah, but you know, you might expect him to have thrown something away. something some way oh let's check the email maybe something came in through that Barry I'm sorry I forgot it was your birthday on Monday happy belated 55th anyway Andrew okay that's it really let's try type news there are no news items. Help. Alright, so... Menu and exit are useless to me. Help is useless to me. News is useless to me. So date, captain, and email. What is today? Maybe that has something to do with it. 1st of August, 2385. All right, so that would be what? One, two, 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 three, eight, five. Maybe that. Two, 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 three, eight, five. Let's let's try that. Two, two, three, eight, five. <sighs> All right, that did nothing. Well, there has to be a reason they sent this to me, right? Barry, I'm so sorry I forgot it was your birthday on Monday. Happy belated 55th anyway. Hmm. His birthday... Uh, it was his... Okay, wait, wait. Let's work this out really quickly. Today's day is the twenty is the first of August, twenty three eighty five. It's his fifty fifth birthday. So he was born in twenty three thirty. Twenty three thirty. So, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this in my head, and I don't think I can. So, I'm, I'm assuming that, like many people, his password is his birthday. 
2330 is definitely a part of it. Right? Wouldn't it be 23? Oh, he's no, wait. He's 55. 0, 23, 30. Okay, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm sort of, I'm sort of, it's a six digit code, right? So, it would have to be two digits for the day, two digits for the month, two digits for the year. So, August is 07, the year's 30, and he was, and if it's the first, then his birthday was on Monday, just a few days ago, that would, what, let me check my calendar real quickly. So, what, zero s seven? I don't know what just happened. There was a glitch in the recording. So let me see, zero seven. Twenty-eight thirty. Twenty-eight zero seven thirty. Depends on. Oh wait, I'm doing the wrong thing. All right, so zero seven twenty eight thirty twenty eight. It depends on what sort of um, dating system they're using. Oh, here we go. Um, definitely, I want to do number two. I don't know what number three is. What is number three? <laughs> Error. Withdraw radio mass for five minutes. Radio mass withdrawn. Residential deck security. All right. So, all right. That should do it then. Okay. Time to save. Death looms too. Now let's go find out what happened to our dear friend. Hello. Something, my dear friend. Uh, blah blah blah. Is at an end. Uh, it still won't open. Must be jammed. That or someone didn't program for it. Looking at you, Yahtzee. Oh my. Oh. What? Oh god, uh, I don't want to be in here, but I'm the fucking hell, man. There's severed limbs hanging from the top mattress. There's been some very precise work done here. There are, very, there are a few very carefully removed internal organs sitting on the top. is there? That locker. There was something evil in that locker. I know it. It'll come off it, John. There was nothing in that locker, but... But what? Nothing. No, you were going to say something. 
What was in the box, Adam? I can't, John. You opened the box. I'm so sorry, John. Why? I had this awful dream. Something in the box had killed us all. And when I woke up, I was so terrified. I just had to get a look inside the box and make sure it was harmless. I just couldn't have slept before I did. What was in it, Adam? That's the weird thing. No human remains at all. There was a welding mask, a leather apron, and a machete. And a funny little wooden doll thing. There was this letter lying on top of it all. Oh, gods, to whom it may concern. You're reading this, and the box has been opened, and you must understand that you're in extreme danger. Immediately after reading this letter, seal the box shut again and flush it back into space. The evil must not be released upon mankind again. At time of writing, I am an agent of a joint MI5 MI6 operation called the Special Talent Project. Details of my post here should be on record with the British Secret Services. My real name is classified information by my own request. I am commonly known as Trilby. In the year 1993, when I was a cat burglar, I was intimately involved in what became known as the Defoe Manor Incident. I, along with Simone Taylor, James Fowler, Philip Hardy, and a man called AJ, found ourselves trapped in Defoe Manor at the mercy of a wraith. After five days in the deaths of AJ and Hardy, I was able to identify the ghost as that of Sir Roderick Defoe's retarded son, whom I later named John Defoe for the sake of convenience. I was able to exercise the spirit, and with the assistance of Taylor and Fowler, and Defoe Manor was destroyed by fire. I returned to my thieving lifestyle, confident that John Defoe was at peace. In 1995, I was apprehended by the authorities, and in return for amnesty, I was offered the opportunity to lend my services to the government. I took a position as a field agent in the Special Talent Project. In the early months of 1997, I was brought news that Simone Taylor had been murdered in her home by an assailant wielding a, long, a large slashing weapon. Sensing a connection, I immediately began my own investigation into activity around Defoe Manor. It was uh, as I had suspect suspected, looters and trophy hunters had discovered the idol intact in the ruins of the mansion, and it was cons constantly changing hands in the antique net network. The idol was a crude African trinket picked up by Sir Roderick on one of his many adventures in 19th century Africa. When Sir Roderick used it to beat his unwanted son to death, it became the vessel for John's confused soul. In the mansion, merely touching the idol would cause a person to be possessed by the wraith, mindlessly murdering everyone they encountered for as long as the possession lasted, usually a couple of hours. Calling in some favors, I had the idol brought to me, heavily sealed in protective casing. It had to be destroyed, that much was clear. I considered burning it, but I deemed that too risky. The evil could have remained in the ashes, spread out over a wider area. I realized then that mankind would never be safe as long as any trace of John Defoe remained on Earth. Fortunately, an unmanned space probe is to be launched in September of this year, assigned to explore the outer regions of the solar system. I have placed all of John Defoe's artifacts in a metal coffin and persuaded NASA to send it off into space with the probe. As soon as I have finished this letter, I will seal it into the coffin with everything else and have the package shipped to Cape Canaveral. I remain confident that this will ensure that John Defoe remains exiled from the human race for the rest of time. However, the fact that you are reading and presumably understanding this document indicates that my confidence was misplaced. Please, no matter what year it is or how advanced you believe you are, do not attempt to combat John Defoe. He cannot be destroyed by conventional means are reasoned with on human terms. You must eject him back into space immediately and tell no one of your discovery. The lives of you and everyone you love are at stake. The decisions you make now will have to live with forever. You read the letter. Why didn't you shoot the box back into space? I didn't think it was for real. And how would I have explained that to the captain? Well, he's dead now, Adam. Besides, I didn't touch anything else in the box. I just closed the box, left everything how it was, and went back to bed. 
Do you really think I caused all this? No, Adam, I don't. Somehow I think that box would have found a way to get itself open somehow. What? Let's just get out of here. Here's the access card. John, run! Oh! Oh, God! What in hell, man? So I've got to read through all that again? Bloody hell. Well, that's not funny. I'm not sure what I was supposed to do, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to... If you don't mind, I'm not going to bother with the entire situation again. Just going to click rapidly through it. What? I need to... There we go. Oh, gods. Saturday. So he's alone on this... M what? Oh, gods. William, what are you doing? Oh, good. You're awake. I wanted to be able to apologize. For, for what, William? I'm really sorry about this, John. If there any other option, you know I'd take it. But you need your body parts. I'm so very finished, and you'll be the last one. You forgive me, right, John? I, of course, I forgive you, William. I'm so glad. So I need to get out of here, right? Well, I guess there's no reasoning with it. Could you undo these straps, please? I'm sorry, no. If I did that, you would run away. And he wouldn't like that. Who are you doing this for, William? Crazy, stupid... The man from the box. He's been alone in space for so long. All he wants is a body to occupy. I said I would make one for him. What did you do to the escape pod? Oh, that was easy enough. I jettisoned it and blocked the docking clamp sensor so the ship thought it was still there. Couldn't let the two of you leave me when I still needed you. You killed Adam. Idiot. Yes, I know, and I killed Serena and Barry. Oh, it was you. It was regrettable, but where else was I going to find him a body? He didn't like either of those bodies. They were too weak. So I'm building a better one from the parts. How do you explain this to the investigators? They'll be here tomorrow. He says the investigators won't be a problem. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Snap out of it, Doctor. Snap out of what? I'm doing exactly what I should be doing. Being crazy is what you're doing. <sighs> Alright, well that conversation went absolutely nowhere. Oh, he's... He's he's opening something. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've managed to get my left hand free. William, I'm about to bash you with the towel rail. I've managed to get my left hand free. Use the trolley! What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, God. 
he put something on it. Right. I'm about to kill you, William. Oh, God. There we go. Oh, I'm the only one left. All of my friends are dead. All because we just had to bring the that box aboard. The FS Charisma will be here soon. I'm not sure what will be there to greet them. There must be something I can do. Something other than sitting and waiting to be killed. Oh god, he's coming. Oh my god. He needed eyes. Oh, he took my eyes. Then he stabbed me right through. Where is he? Roaming this ship. Looking for more people to kill. I'm so, so sorry, John. You were under his influence. You weren't acting under your own direction. Even so. I've let the monster loose and he killed us all. Guess I kind of made a hash of my first posting, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. This wasn't your fault, William. It's the fault of a megalomaniacal post-ethereal demonic force, so... Take my stun gun. I've got a few shots left. If you can lure him outside the ship, you could... I could what? The, the radio... Oh my goodness. Rest in peace, Dr. Taylor. Oh, and the menacing music begins. <sighs> I'm hungry. Now I'm actually hungry, not even video game... Not even video game hungry, like... I'm starving and sort of want to beat the game so I can get on the way. I am so scared right now. I don't think there's anything for me to do. I need to get down to engineering, right? Well, no way. He said to use the radio mask first. Oh my goodness, it barely works on him. So I have five minutes, right, from the... From the time I put this in. <sighs> Wait, what was that code that I worked out? 280730? I've got no understanding why my recording keeps pausing. Drawn radio mass for five minutes. Sort of catchy music that Yahtzee put together. Alright, so I've withdrawn the mass, so I should get out there, right? I think so. Oh god, he's coming. Oh! Oh, really? from behind. That makes no sense. I don't think I've ever seen him come out of the elevator, right? Oh! I thought I heard a ringing, sort of like, um, the elevator was descending. I I just feel like I need to run right now. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually not panicking, but I'm scared. <laughs> it's funny how 
funny how even with this um, low quality graphics that I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing. Oak, oak. How is he just standing there? I have got to move. You're still alive. What are you? I am deaf incarnate. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? was just an avatar. This is John Defoe. This is his soul. This is what must be destroyed. What? What must be destroyed? I don't think so. I think this must be John Defoe. Okay, so... <sighs> How do I destroy it is the question. What's the... It's a small wooden idol, right? Mm. Boom. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> right on time. That's the charisma. It's over. Oh, you are sight to see. It's the EFS Charisma. Come to check on our faulty wiring. There'll be some surprises in store for them. It's a, it's a good game. Not even lying right now. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. <coughs> Music at the end was terribly catchy. I'm going to have that in my head now. Dun da 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 da. da. Oh God. Hey, where the hell did you come from? We thought this ship was a total death zone. What's been going on here? You're from the Charisma. Off-world security. Who are you? Somerset, Dr. Jonathan, ship's counselor. Dr. Jonathan. Is that him, Sergeant? That's him. That's the guy. What? You're Dr. Jonathan Somerset, formerly of the University of Ganymede. Yes. Dr. Jonathan Somerset is 65 years old. And more to the point, he's dead. He was killed six months ago by an unknown assailant. What? We only discovered last week that an individual was using his identity. Oh, gods, what? I didn't mean any harm. Take him away, Sergeant. I didn't mean to hurt him been unemployed for eight years. I just wanted to go into space. Really? Another body in the brig, Lieutenant. We're pinning them all on Somerset. Or whoever he is. Well, can't see any other conclusion, can you? What's with the box? No idea. It's empty. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, that was stupid. Ending of Five Days of Stranger. Thoroughly enjoying. Ending of Seven Days of Skeptic. Can't even begin to tell you how stupid it was. The following Easter egg can be found by playing on to the end of the game on May 24th, my birthday. Warning spoilers. So, <laughs> birthday. That's funny. Gur. Gur gur. Mm hmm. Gur stab. Stab kill. Gur kill. Gur kill, I see. So, what was your relationship with your father like? Well, we didn't really see eye to eye. Nothing I could do was good enough for him. One time I made the sculpture f of him for his birthday out of things I found in my nose. Disgusting. But he just kicked me in the face and pushed me back down the stairs. How interesting. So, what's your diagnosis, doctor? Oh, I'm not really a psychologist. I'm an imposter. That was the big twist at the end. Yeah, it, but it was a stupid twist. Could have told me that before I paid you for 18 sessions. I mean, fair enough, but uh, it's still dumb. What was that all about, Adam? Captain is alive, John. Damn it, Adam. Barry's dead. I'm the one who found his body. Barry Chahal is dead, yes. But he isn't our captain anymore. What are you talking about? The ship has a new captain, John. Line. You haven't got a line. You just kill people. Are you sure? Could have sworn I had a line here. You don't have any lines in this entire game. What? I don't have to be doing this, you know. I've been shortlisted for a role on Days of Our Lives. Dr. Somerset, our scans show that you're on top of the ship now. Can you see what's clogging the radio mass? Dr. Somerset? Cough! Sorry, this is a hard pose to keep up. <laughs> the captain is dead. Oh, God. Someone stabbed him with this machete. He went outside to try to escape from his attacker. But the killer was very determined. <laughs> That's funny. You see that in the background. Jam. Cut. What the hell's wrong with that? <laughs> I'm really sorry about this, John. If there were any other option, you'd know I'd take it. It needs your bonding. We're so very f nearly finished, and you'll be the last one. You forgive me, right, John? Aye. Of course I forgive you, William. I'm so glad. Um, where's the scalpel? Improvise quickly, we're rolling. Uh. And I will cut out your eyes with this <laughs> pipette. Oh my goodness. Forget it. Just forget it. Do you really think I caused all this? No, Adam, I don't. Somehow I think that box would have found a way to get itself open somehow. What? Let's just get out of here. Here's the access card. You forgot to turn on the vacuum pump, didn't you? I suggested they use CD CG for this bit, but they wouldn't listen. And what the hell happened on this ship? Did you kill the whole crew? No, it was a ghost. Oh, fair enough. You'd better get onto the rescue ship then. Righto. Wait, wait, wait. What? This ending sucks. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, the real ending sucked too. It's a really stupid twist come completely out of the blue. Yeah.
That's exactly how I feel. Well, what if everyone hates it? Then we'll tell them to swivel on our mid digits. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Uh, well, that's it for Seven Days of Skeptic. Um, in some ways, superior to Five Days of Stranger. Um, the chasing is an interesting element that I appreciated. Um, did not like the ending, which was stupid. Absolutely stupid. Yahtzee, you can't... You can't criticize other people when you do this shit. You know that. Um, other than that, I'm fairly good. I enjoyed it. So, thank you for watching 7 Days of Skeptic. Next up is Trilby's Notes. So, stick around. Stay tuned to this playlist. We'll be bringing you more soon. Alright, talk to you later. This is Daishi, signing out.